Alright guys, um, hey, um, I have not made a video for almost a month, I think, and I'm finally back, um, I was actually gonna hold off until I get my Mac, which I will get, be getting in one to two weeks, so then I'm really gonna start up again, but you know, I just found out that you, c the, um, the, um, jailbreak for iPhone OS 4 has been released, as actually has been released prior to the actual release of the better so i'm actually going to show you guys how to do it i'm going to be using my ipod touch second generation for this. it only works with uh, iphone 3g's and ipod touch second generations right now so what you're going to want to do first is um update your itunes to 9.2 because it will not work if it is a 9.1 so i'm just going to do it right now and i'll be back when i am done with that all right guys so i just updated my itunes to 9.2 so now if you go to your if you connect your iPod or iPhone and you go to the iPhone or iPod screen, it will say that there is a new version up um available which is 4.0. So what you're going to want to do is make sure that everything is backed up on your iPod or iPod iPhone or iPod touch using the apps I remember that I made a video about apt backup and just transfer your purchases through iTunes. So just make sure that's all backed up and get ready to jailbreak. So press update. And yeah, just continue, update. If you have uh, um, jailbroken to 3.1.3 or 3.1.2 before, it is basically the same, but I'm just going to walk you through it. Alright, so now in my download section, it is downloading the uh, software update, and I will continue after that's done. Okay, so as you can see, it is done, and it does has um, detected it in recovery mode. So let's go ahead and restore it, if you did back it up. So now we're going to restore it and update it. So now we're just going to extract the 4.0 software and we're going to get started. Okay, almost done. Alright, I'll get back to you guys when it's done. Okay, guys, so now it is done updating as you can see here it is in 4.0 now so let's go ahead and get red snow started up just like any other um, jailbreak just press browse find the firmware the 4.0 and it's gonna process that firmware we will take like uh, seven seconds ten seconds okay so no it's not an MC model and will not work with MC models yet so mine is not it'll connect there Okay, there we go. Now there is, um, as you can see, these options. And it cannot multitask, but with this, you can enable it with the jailbreak, which is good. So if you want a custom boot logo, you can check that. I personally just want to keep the regular one. So let's go ahead and press Next. Now, just like the other one, you want to make sure it's off and plugged in, as you can see, these options. So let's go ahead and go do that. Okay guys, so let's get ready for the jailbreaking process and just like any other program, you do need to turn it off first. So let's go ahead and slide to power off. Let's wait for it to turn off and there we go. And it's off. So, let's go ahead and get ready. And you're going to have to, you know, remember press so hold the power button for 3 seconds. It's going to say on red snow. Don't worry, just follow the instructions. After that, hold the home button. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, yeah, whatever. And then you start holding the home button for the rest of the time and wait for it. There we go. As soon as you get the white flash, you know it's working. And as you can see in red snow, it is uploading the second stage and we'll be doing the third stage just in a second. There we go, third stage. And it's now uploading the RAM disk, and when you says that, you should get the this icon that says downloading jailbreak data with a hard drive disk with a green arrow. And you guys are probably familiar with this if you've done previous jailbreaks, so I don't need to, you know, be like, this is like totally new to you guys. So yeah, after that, it is done now. So go ahead and just press finish. Sorry for the shaky camera, guys. So I just want to make a quick video. I don't want to spend too much time on this video. Okay, so now it is jailbreaking. 
it's just getting the data so that it can install the jailbreak. Okay, there's the famous pineapple, that the pwned icon. And yep, just wait for it, for the little blue bar to finish loading. It is now doing a flashing nar, nor whatever that means. Not that good with iPods, but I will be. It's now installing bundles. So yeah, like I said, um, I will get started with videos soon. This is just going to be my first one in a little while. And I will get started again in one to two weeks. So, you know, this is kind of like my comeback video. Okay, now it's done. So now it's going to reboot. Let's wait for it to boot up here. Okay, so now it's done. So let's go ahead and slide to unlock. There we go. You have folders there, you see. And, yeah, the white icons you can fix after you go into Cydia. And just, you'll, you'll see if you click Cydia. So there we go. Now you can multitask, as you can see. Just double click. Okay, wait, let's see. Alright, I'll show you that. Okay, so after you guys restored it previously, before you jailbroke your iPod or iPhone, you probably tried to multitask and all that, and you found that it did not work. Well, remember how you pressed checked enable multitasking in Red Snow? Well, now you can actually multitask. So let's go ahead and preview this. So you go into your iPhone or iPod Touch. So what? To multitask, as Steve Jobs explained it, you just double tap the home button while in an app. So there we go. There's a little bar. So you can just actually listen to music here too. So then you can just go into the app. Let's go voice memos, which I already have open. And you can double click again. And you can switch back to Cydia and etc. That's multitasking. It's very useful. I think it's a great part. And it, yeah, that's multitasking. That's it, guys.